three. How do you want it? How do you want it? Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Crush. Let's get into the vid. Craig Mack and Black Rob did not live to see this moment. And this was a moment like, I'm telling you, Craig Mack was so, he was so furious with Puff. He was just, he hated Puff so much that the, I used to have to calm Puff, I mean, Craig down. Like, Craig, just chill out. Let's go record a couple of songs and, you know, let's just chill out, man. We we, we was on tour. We was like, yo, come on, man. Just, you know, we're going to make it work. He was just, he hated Puff. He hated Puff. I could understand why, man. Puff did him dirty. Didn't take care of him the way he should have. I mean, Diddy did all his artists dirty. He did them all dirty, you know. Most of them end up broke. Diddy took all the money. And these are people who helped him build the label, built his empire. And he shitted on all of them. So I could understand why Craig Mack was in his feelings. You know, he hated Diddy. You could understand why, man. He did that man dirty. going to have Black Rob. He hated Puff. He, 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 not like hate Puff, like, it's just, yo, you be like, man, only thing we got, sometimes you realize, the only thing we got is us. Now, let me tell y'all something. Look at how many bad boy artists had to go to jail. And you A lot. Like, yo, we, 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 when a nigga had to go to jail and was an artist on your label, so the whole time a nigga was in jail, he was in jail, and they was like, hey, ain't you a uh, bad boy from bad boy? Ain't you from, and people be, ain't you from now? When people be, they seeing me, they be like, ain't you, ain't you? And you be like, yo, people had to go to jail that worked with him. Shine. Prison. Loom, prison, rob, prison, yo. And Shine took the fall for him. Basically, Diddy is the one who pulled the trigger. And Shine took the rap. He took the fall for Diddy. This is what Diddy do. He used everybody to get by, basically. You know, he used all of them to build his empire. For him to advance, you know, dudes end up locked up. You know, broke. They don't have any money. He never took care of any of them. This is what happens when you're dealing with snakes. You got to know snakes. You got to recognize snakes. And he snaked a lot of them. Everybody. Shine, Mace, Black Rob. Everybody got snaked by Diddy. He allegedly got Biggie killed. I mean, this man is a menace, man. Man. I knew I ain't want to have nothing to do with it right when that was going on. I was like, okay, that's my calling. Everybody who's who want to be down with him is going down. And then I looked. And then I was like, yo, I'm starting to see what's going on. What, what I saw was, I was like, Mark, it was like, it's that nobody that's around him that, or even as that's around you, you know, is willing to tell him how to humble himself. How to humble himself. I'm like... And a lot of times, that's the situation. You have somebody with a lot of power, a lot of fame, and the people around him, they're scared to check him or let him know, what, you know, or let him know what's up. So nobody will tell him when he's doing wrong. He'll have a lot of yes men. They'll not agree to whatever he's doing. I mean, everybody's scared to let him know what you're doing is wrong or nobody wants to check him. And it gets to a point where this guy, you know, he feels like he's above the universe. He's above the world. He treats everybody like shit. This is what happens when you don't check somebody. Never be afraid to check somebody. If somebody's out of pocket, you got to check them because eventually it gets to a point where they're out of control. And Diddy was out of control. Been out of control for a long time. Yo, I've been saying this thing for so long. And then you got, you got people 
You got people, like I got people that's actually people around me. And you be like, like right now, how do I feel? How do I feel right now? Wow. I'm so amazed, man, that God works so fast. Like even when you might think it's a lifetime and, and it's really not a lifetime, it just happens. So when it happens, you'd be like, man, it's, it's happening. And you, everything that people had to go through around you, you, you kind of facing it. Now, let me tell y'all one thing we're going to have to do. All right. This is for me straight to you. And somebody today, I was like, yo, you know, I pray for him. And then they was like, why would you pray for him? I be like, cause even people when they, when they, even when they do wrong, you know, people who are sinners, you know, everybody needs prayer. So we can never stop praying for people. That's a fact. So I, He's I right. I believe in the power of prayer. So I always pray and I be like, you know what? God, the same way that you can put this brother in that situation, show him a way that he can get out of it. I've been telling Holmes, I said, Holmes, Holmes is Diddy. I said, bro, listen, there's no way in the world you can keep going on in life being this big you and thinking that everybody around you is little. There's no big you and little me. That's what I used to always have to say. Yo, no, there ain't no big you, little me. That's ain't a fact. That. Go get you some what? Man, I'm ain't no big you, little me. Just because I come and I want to be an artist on your label don't mean that I got to conform and think like how you think and all of this. So I got my own life. I got my own friends to hang out with, do my own. And he's right. I'm your artist. That's about it. That's where the line is drawn. If you're on a label, you're an artist. I'm not your slave or your stooge or whatever. I'm your artist. Give me the same respect. The same respect I give to you, give to me. And he's right. But of course, you know, Diddy, he feels like, you know, he's the man. This is my sh Just like the making the band situation. Look how he treated those kids. He treated all of them like crap. Sent him to go get cheesecake and all this other madness. He's trying to make it seem like he was trying to prove a point. But let's be honest, it was to stroke his ego. All that was to stroke his ego. It wasn't to prove any point beyond stroking his ego. Because this guy is, you know, he's out of control. He's egotistical. And he feels like, you know, the world is his oyster. And he treats people like crap. I agree with him. If I'm on your label, I'm your artist. That's about it. I am not your stooge. You know, you got to give me the same respect I give to you. Thing, you understand? That's just how I go. And we don't like hanging out with you, actually. You understand? Because this is just business. I just want to do business with you, but I don't want to hang out with you. That's how I always was. I was like, I do business with you. I don't want to hang out with you, though. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't like the way y'all party and stuff. I don't like the hours you go out. I don't like none of that. You know what I'm saying? I don't like how y'all get down, period, period. You know what I'm saying? And that's just how I was. And I just leave that there. But look, I don't know if Puff is strong enough to go through with like what Bill Cosby and R. Kelly's going through. No, he's not. Honest with you. He ain't I built like that. I don't think that he's able to do it. And so I really think we need to. Trust me, he's not built like that. A lot of times people who have a lot of power, a lot of influence, they act all tough, high and mighty until they get into a jam. And this is a situation we all know. Diddy is not built like that. Is he built for jail? No, he's not. He's not built for that kind of situation. It's easy to act tough, you know, high and mighty. Because you have the money and the power to have others do things for you. But once you get into a situation where the feds is on your ass, Diddy won't last in jail because I can't see him behind a wall for the rest of his life. He's not built like that. And he's right. A lot of dudes who are in power, they're cowards. Most of the people who have all the power, the influence, you know, they have others who's willing to do things for them, commit crimes and all types of madness. They are cowards themselves. That's normally the case. That is usually the situation. People who have all the power, the things they won't do, they'll pay you to do it for them. So they'll have others do their dirty work. Pray for our brother because you just don't want him to take the other route out. And some people do that. 
And but when you look at it, you be like, how many people took that route out as a result of energy you created? That's a it's fact. Like, Yo, know, everything you've done is coming back to you. It's coming back on you. Everything, every way that it go, you got jail, you got you're probably sitting there thinking about jumping off a building or flying your you be like, damn man. You be like, yo, support you, man. As wrong as you may have been to people, we gonna support you. I'm gonna be like, I hope you all right, man. Do not do nothing to harm yourself, bro. Don't do nothing to harm yourself, man. And I hope that this dude really don't go to prison. He cannot go to prison. He's not the kind of dude that can do that. So let's pray for the brother, man. I'm telling y'all. You know how the universe works. You do dirt, you get dirt. It's simple as that. You run around being a douchebag, you know, doing bad things to people, treating people like shit. Taking advantage of them and doing all so, I mean, and doing all sorts of madness just because you know you have the fame, the prominence, the power, and you're a part of the very few. But eventually, just in due time, the world revolves, man, and your day comes. It always comes eventually. Might not be right away, could be 20 years later, 30 years later, you know, but eventually your day is gonna come. And when it comes, you can't cry about it. You made your decisions, right? You was doing all this madness, abusing people, and this is the universe, man, righting all the wrongs. And unfortunately, you end up on the wrong side of the fence, and you got to deal with it. He can't do it. Some people can't. Some people can't sit in a room for 10 years straight. 15 years straight. R. Kelly been in a room sitting in a, a cell. Found no how many years straight, no stays, no airplane, no big house, no nothing, just straight in a cell. Some people can't do that. Some people can't even imagine going broke before they go broke, they'll kill themselves. That's a fact. He's not lying. That's why so much suicide on Wall Street. He can't go to jail. Well, he can. I know what you're saying by he can't, but he can. So let's let's pray that that right there is not something that happens. I don't wish bad on the man, but that's honest. Whatever happens, happens. I could I could talk about anything and and wish I can't wish nothing like that upon the brother because I don't want to see him go to jail. He's not cut for jail. We just want him to learn, but if. See, and that's the issue. If he don't go to jail and he gets off, which I don't wish him, I don't wish anything bad on him. If he don't get locked up or whatever the case may be, is he going to learn? Is he going to change his ways? I'm sure he won't be doing all the crazy stuff he's been doing. That I could be sure of, but is he going to try to be a better person, change the way he treats others and just turn over a new leaf? That's the question. But I wouldn't wish bad on anybody, so I would leave it up to the universe to decide that situation. But man, this is a this is crazy. You got the feds coming at you. You know it's crazy. Don't make a don't make don't make a um don't make a um an example out of him in the wrong way. We want him to learn, but we don't want y'all to just 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 destroy him like that. I don't want to see that. He probably took he probably took all of the all of the movies, sex tapes, all of the, the, the tapes he had against people, sleeping with people. He must have took all of them and said, look, man, we're ready to take these to Antigua and put them in a bonfire. He went and burnt the evidence. I agree. What was the evidence? He had to. The evidence was probably some tapes and stuff of what was going on and stuff. Right? A lot oh, of man. stuff. Where else would he be going out of, out of flying out of to Antigua and all of that stuff for right now? What would he be doing? For what? Just him and his pilot talking about he's stressed. He knew it was coming. They told him this morning, they said, the same way they told him that the World Twin Towers was ready to get hit, 
go down there and take pictures of it right now because tomorrow is not you're not gonna have ever have a chance to do it again. His ass took us right on down there and we went and took them goddamn pictures by the world twin towers and then the same time the next morning them joints went down. This nigga knew. Telling you he knew. It's amazing. He knew. I believe you. Let's go get them pictures. Why? Because you're a part of that system. And that system is a mother. I know some don't want to believe it. You know, we all believe what we want to believe, but there's levels to this. Trust me, there are levels to this. And when you're a part of that system, if you do anything that makes them unhappy, they are ready to cancel you. You're done. They always find a way to destroy you. Once they're done with you, or you do something that's crazy, or you piss them off, you know what happens. They find a way to make you look crazy, dig up all sorts of madness on you, stuff you had buried in your past. They dig up everything, because they know everything. And it's a wrap. Clearly, they're trying to get rid of Diddy. They're trying to bury this man. He had a long run. I'm not going to wish nothing bad on him, you know, but we're going to see what happened, man. But it's just crazy. You're part of that system. The same system that said, hey, we are the same. As always, hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share, holler at your boys.